January has been so far one of the biggest months when it comes to new releases on the Play Store. But still, regardless of your usual picks in games, we've came across about 10 to 12 more in the past couple of weeks, huge games that are both playable online and offline. So whether if you have got a beefy phone or one just like mine, it's our top 12 new games of January 2023. Let's go. The universe. Eons. Sitting on TapTap -tap in its current state, ready for pre-register, guys, you do want to be quick with this one as this game is live in its last beta testing starting today, going for a couple of days up until the full release, which will probably be in a few months from now. Anyway, guys, Honkai Star Rail is a semi-strategy turn-based RPG open world game that's already been in development for three years straight. In any case, this game is playable only online and available only on the Android devices at the moment. But when you set foot on the planet itself, you realize how small and helpless you really are. It should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time. But eventually, we will make a gorgeous pattern. The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. I'd like you to make a destination alteration. Coming up behind that from Euphoria Games, this is probably the biggest survival horror mobile game developers on the whole platform. For those of you just wondering, it's the same folks behind Mimic Cry with over 10 million downloads, all the Death Park and Horror Tale games. Anyway, we've got over here since only 72 hours ago something called 911 Cannibal Horror Escape. Maybe an even better and story game compared to the whole series of games from the company and I'm almost sure that this has an even more accurate and probably the most challenging gameplay amongst the rest. Check it out, game's free. At number three, we've got over here Cursed or CRSED Cuisine. I have no idea how I failed to mention this one earlier as the game. The last time I mentioned this one was through its pre-register state a couple of months ago, but here's the thing guys. Right now, this little gem, I would have to say, of an online battle royal shooter is sitting on the place with a three out of five, but I can almost guarantee you if you do have a beefy phone with maybe a cooling device, it is an absolutely divine game in nature, hell, it even has a fully controller support for any controllers. Take a look. At number 4 we've got, from the same time only last month, maybe the most downloaded racing game of the past few months considering actually Corex Street that came out last month, well ever since a game over here called Street Drag 2. I would have to say I wouldn't recommend anything else if you're into racing games specifically except this one as Street Drag is fine-tuned to literal perfection, has a world of content for free and graphically it's just a PlayStation 4 game on a phone. Gameplay is smooth and it is playable both on and off. At number 5 we've got over here from only 10 days ago, sitting on a place with only 100 downloads, not a free game though but taking you down for almost half a dollar only, a survival horror story based shooter something called The Fall survival. Guys, I just don't know why the world is so cruel, but this game is... I don't even know how to describe how good this game is on the Play Store. For some reason, it's not even available on PCs already. Imagine what you'd get by mixing The Last of Us, a Walking Dead game from the Telltale series, and throw in some pretty good puzzle elements as well. Eventually, you'll get this. Check it out, games even playable off.
At number 6, available both on Android and iOS devices since roughly a week ago, we've got Shadow Slayer The Dark Impact. I would easily put this one at number 1 in the list here if I were just a tad more sure that it works on all devices and it's globally available free. Here's the thing, if you have ever enjoyed a Souls-like hack and slasher than a Castlevania game, this thing delivers all of those like a beast and it's free. Gives a 10 out of 10 in my book and it's as fast as a fast paced game could be. At number 7 from roughly 2 weeks ago, we've got, and I've mentioned this one before, Oath of Peak. Literally titled Open World, this is an action, technically MMORPG, anime style, story based, single and multiplayer, and quite frankly, the best open world game that I've seen for the past couple of months that's free with the quality of much much bigger games like per se ever so anyway this game takes you down for one gigabyte of space it's smooth quite rewarding and maybe just a little short in content <laughs> Moving on to number 8, we have Final Fantasy XV War of EOS. Now guys, this is a hero collecting strategy turn-based RPG online game, almost an idle game, albeit set for the first time in 3D and in the Final Fantasy universe. Do you guys remember the old Final Fantasy VIII with those cards and mini games back then? God, that was the best time of my life. Anyway, this has all of that, albeit it's a mobile game and maybe a little bit even more rewarding. Moving on to number 8, we've got Spider Train Survival. I've actually said it before, this is a legitimately cloned Choo Choo Charles mobile port sitting on the Play Store since roughly 2 weeks ago with over 500,000 downloads already, which is not something that happens every day. Now I'm not entirely sure, but if you do like what you see over here, I think the game is playable even offline. If you couldn't afford the PC game released a couple of weeks ago because it's about $20 or something, this game has every single portion of the original game just tuned down and delivers pretty good. <laughs> At number 10, we've got from a tad over a month ago, for those of you into sports, although there are a couple of other games that came out in January, but this one's probably the best in visuals and gameplay, overall replay value as well, called Big Hit Football 23. I couldn't recommend this game enough if you're into American football and you do like competitive modes to play. This game's got tons of online modes, it's free and even playable with a controller. Very quick mission over here, guys. This is perhaps, well, first off, I just tricked you. Big Hit Football, the previous game, is nothing compared to this because we've got over here NBA Absolute Superstar. Hands on just a console game, but somehow playable on mobile devices. It's free, available worldwide now since only two weeks ago, and super, super fine in replay value. Moving on card game and it's available right now in the app store and google play and last but not least just an honorable mention over here before we call it a day for wrestling specifically classic old retro the old Nintendo era fans something called modern mania what is touted as a pro wrestling general manager game just presented as a collectible card game that blends you the role of a weirdly enough booker anyway this game's free pretty unique in mix and the characters and the backstory over here is something you'd probably dig in but that is it getting color and ally interference and if all that customization isn't enough go backstage where you can train wrestling.